Welcome to Firewalls.com. My name is Brian Reed, and this video is Testing and Configuring Overlapping Wireless Access Points. The intent of the video is to demonstrate to you how to identify what channels your wireless access points are using and determine if there's any overlap, and if so, we'll spread out the channels that are being used which will then increase the overall performance of your wireless network. Now there are five steps that we need to take to make sure that we're successful in performing these actions. First, we're going to do a scan of all the active wireless access points on the network and we're going to identify what channels they're using and if they're overlapping. Then we'll create a new channel plan to make sure that we can have all of our wireless access points running and that they're not overlapping so that we can ensure that our performance of our wireless network is the best that it can be. And then finally, we'll implement our changes to both a sonic point access point as well as a TZ wireless firewall to demonstrate how to assign our channels and spread it out so that we don't have any overlap and then finally we'll just do a quick verification to make sure that our new changes have taken place. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to use a free tool called Insider. Insider allows us to quickly see all of our access points and what channels that they're using in the spectrum. So let's go ahead and see how this works. Here you see the Insider 2.0 application running. Under the 2.4 GHz channel, we can clearly see that we have three different access points running. Two of these are Sonic Points, which is the fast wireless in green, and then the corporate wireless access. And then for the guest wireless access in the red, that is our Sonic Wall TZ100 wireless radio. Now, very easily we can see that all three of these radios are all crammed down here at the beginning of the channel spectrum available and there's quite a bit of overlap. And this is going to cause congestion, slow down on the wireless network. So what we want to do is we want to take all three of these radios and configure them for unique channels so that they're not overlapping with each other. Now that we've seen all of our access points and what channels they're overlapping, the next thing we want to do is create a plan to determine what channels we want to assign to each of our radios so that they're not interfering with each other. So in this next video, we're going to show you how to go ahead and reconfigure both a Sonic Point as well as a Sonic Wall TZ wireless firewall to adjust our channels to make sure that we don't have any overlap. And then finally, we'll use Insider again to verify our work. Now the first radio we want to modify is the one on our Sonic Wall TZ100 wireless firewall. If we go back to Insider, we can see that our fast wireless, which is a sonic point that we have running, is already on channel 1. So we want to go ahead and leave that there because that's a good start for us. But the guest wireless access in blue, that's our sonic wall TZ100 wireless firewall. So we want to go ahead and move that channel over to channel 6. That way that will give us the... Uh, non-overlapping of both the radios and provide the 25 megahertz gap that needs to be between the two radios. So to do so in our SonicWall TZ100 we go to wireless settings and under the wireless settings for the channel it's selected auto by default you're gonna find that on any of the SonicWall both sonic points as well as the wireless firewalls and we're going to go ahead and move this to channel 6 and save our changes. Now if we go back over to the Insider we can now see again our fast wireless still on channel 1 and now our guest wireless access from the SonicWall TZ wireless firewall is running on channel 6. 
they're not overlapping and we got our nice little 25 megahertz gap between the two radios so now our next step is we want to modify our corporate wireless access radio which this is a sonic point so the configuration is going to be a little bit different so let's go ahead and see how that's done now we're inside our firewall that's running our sonic point so from the console we want to go to sonic point click on sonic points we want to find our radio down here and select the configure button and you want to select the 802.11n radio and again by default you're going to see that everything is set to auto so for the radio band we're going to go ahead and select standard uh, there's two options you have a standard and wide uh, that is a totally different conversation and a lot of details and if you're interested in knowing what those two differences are and the pros and cons of using them uh, let us know down in the comments section and if we get enough requests we can put out a video that goes over these two settings in detail but for now we're just going to go ahead and select the 20 megahertz for standard and for our channel we're going to go ahead and select channel 11 now kind of a rule of thumb here is if you have just three radios you want to use channel 1, 6, and 11 to give you the maximum spread of all your wireless radios across the spectrum that's available. So after we change the channel, we select OK. Now with the sonic points, whenever you make a change on them, they're going to go through a process, set up the radios, and they're going to reboot. So we want to give it just a minute here to take in the new configuration settings and fire up the radio. Okay, now that uh, the Sonic Point has rebooted and it's operational, let's go ahead and take a look at Insider again. And now we can see we have our three radios again, and each of them are not overlapping, and they have the 25 megahertz gap between them. So this is the optimal setting for our wireless radios on the Sonic Points and on the TZ Wireless Firewall to give us the best performance and throughput available using these devices. Okay, this concludes our video. We appreciate you watching. If you did find it helpful, please use the like button so that we know that we're on topic and you found it useful. And also be sure to subscribe so that you can get notified of whenever we have new videos that are released on the channel. Okay, hope you have a great day. Take care.